Rosita. It's not obvious, my friends, they all caught it saying I end up falling for you I'm doing my best to hide these feelings, confessing is the last thing that I want to do I know I can't be crushing on a girl who can't be here for long So I told myself I should just stay away But these lyrics keep coming out, I don't think I can stop it now I wonder if they'll get to you one day we just made it to Tikal. It is currently like 6.45 or something. Um, we ended up coming and getting the bus at 4 a.m., which is so early. Uh, but yeah, we've already seen a monkey and three girls that I like went to the bathroom with. They saw a toucan, so pretty cool already. But I sing these words I'll never say Cause that's the only way Say those words, just wait and see They'll come for sure to shine To look you in your eyes I swear that I'm not lying Cause I knew it's true from the first time we met I'm so in love with Everything you say and all the doodles that you post And every time you sing a song The people crowd a little closer to you tell you the prices of things and kind of how we went about it. So we decided to go with a tour company with a tour group just because it makes things a lot easier and uh, we ended up booking it the night before which I do not recommend doing because we wanted to go very very early and the chances of them not having space was pretty high so definitely book this in advance if you plan on going. We decided to do our tour at 4 30 in the morning However, we ended up leaving, I think, closer to five or maybe even a little bit after that. So I don't think that we ended up getting there until around seven is when we got to the actual archaeological site. The tour was 100 quetzales per person, which is around 13 US dollars. And that covered the transportation to and from Tikal, as well as an English speaking guide. In my opinion, it was the cheapest that I could find. 
you can definitely look into other options. There were some mixed reviews on if you could use public transportation or not, but from everything that I researched, public transportation didn't start early enough and also there were mixed opinions on if public transportation went to T-Call at all. So you could definitely explore that option, talk with some locals, maybe even go to the Colectivo like bus station, the little like mini bus station and ask around and see if anyone goes to T-Call before you want to go. But I recommend doing that research ahead of time just so that if there is no one that goes, then you aren't screwed and you can book a tour so that you can end up going to T-Call and not miss it. I also find that having an English speaking guide can be really beneficial. We learned a lot about how colorful these Mayan villages were and the importance of some of the trees. We learned about the local wildlife and the local vegetation. So you can definitely do it by yourself, but especially for $13 with transportation included and a guide, um, it is well worth the money to have those extra experiences and kind of learn a little bit more than, you know, what's on the plaques. So at T-Call, we had to pay for our ticket into the archeological site, which I believe was another 100 quetzales, so another $13 per person. Um, and that brings the total trip cost at $26, which to me is 100% worth it. I think we ended up spending like six hours or something there. It was a long time and it was so much fun. And just a final few tips. There are no ATMs there, so make sure that you bring plenty of cash. There is a little restaurant there um, that you can get like drinks and stuff, so bring some extra cash for that. And also you are in the jungle, so I recommend wearing pants and sleeves and bug spray because there are so many bugs. Tikal is my favorite Mayan ruins that we visited this entire trip. It was huge, it was so incredibly beautiful. It was just tucked away in the jungle and it was so like protected. You could tell that they really, really took the time to preserve these. Also, there were so many mounds where you could tell that there were ruins underneath it that just haven't been excavated yet. And I thought that was really unique because although we knew that those were there in the other mine ruins, they weren't as obvious, but with Tikal, you could really tell where some big ruins were that just hadn't been excavated. I also loved that you could climb on so many things, like you can climb up to the top of the pyramids and just see the beautiful views of the jungle and the other pyramids peeking out from the treetops. It was just absolutely stunning and so can't believe that I was there. So yeah, that is the end. <music>